Yeah, so I'm the, one of the founders of Skype and one of the founders of Atomico. And now I run an investment firm called Oriente based in Hong Kong. And um, I invest in the uh, companies that are at the intersection of the old and new economies. So things related to banking, related to um, telecommunications and things like that. The difference is now, when you have this kind of fintech stuff, it starts to break down national barriers. I, the problem I'm worried about is the whole regulatory component when I say this. The internet's a distribution model that's global, and it's going to allow people to create up more global platforms utilizing financial services. And so if you, if you look at what's happening in Taiwan, Taiwan has all the ingredients to be very successful in the, in the fintech, uh, fintech area. A very long history and a very a deep, sophisticated financial services sector, and you also have a very, very deep engineering um, uh, group within Taiwan. And if you merge those two things, you have a very, very powerful fintech sector. The fintech that we put together here in Taipei is going to be a very, very uh, interesting and I think a very, very fruitful uh, operation. You have two of the most important disruptive companies in the fintech space with C2FO and Lufax coming together with a lot of local luminaries in the financial services sector. So if you want to know anything about what's happening in, in, in financial services, what's happening in technology, and, and at the crossroads of those two things, you should come to the fintech summit. Thank you.